All right, what's going on YouTube? Back here with another video, and today we're gonna be unboxing the Dell S3225QS. Um, I bought these to replace my 27-inch Dell U2723QE Ultra Sharps. Uh, these were on sale for a crazy good price on Amazon. I think they were $250 a piece, so I had to jump on that. Initially, the monitors haven't had the best review, so we'll see how this goes, but yeah. Um, also, I've got my desk set up in the living room for right now because my mother is staying with me so shout out to my mom but yeah let's get these guys open so i'm actually going to open the one in the back first um i really hope that these showed up in good shape because the box that they came in was a little beat up here so i'm going to adjust the camera so you guys can see the best angle here so yeah here we go here we go so yeah Here's the box. It has two ports. I think it's HDMI and DisplayPort. This is a 4K monitor with a 120 hertz refresh rate. Also, it has two 5 watt speakers. So yeah, let's get it open. And I've got my knife right here. Hopefully, this camera angle works good for you guys. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Cut the pops, the, the tape, and I'm gonna go ahead and layer down, making sure I stay in frame. Okay. We've got our, it's like a back plate for your base up. We've got a monitor stand right there. Manuals, we don't need those. And we've got two, I've uh, got a power cable and a display port which we will not be using. Open her up, and here we go. Whoa! This is actually way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And, uh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. That is a big boy. So, yeah, really excited to see how this is going to look on the setup. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the other one and get them mounted up. All right, so there's tons of glare, as you can see. But um, yeah, this looks really good. Like really, really good. Um, I was just checking for dead pixels or make sure it's not cracked. And it looks fantastic, guys. This looks really nice. Um, I am very excited to, uh, to check this out. I've got it hooked up to my work laptop. It's is a M3 MacBook Pro. Um, yeah, I don't talk about this because this does not belong to me. This belongs to my job. Anyway, yeah. Um, very, very impressed so far, and I can't wait to get it on the desk. So, what I'm going to do next is go ahead and open this up, and then I'll put you guys over here so you guys can go ahead and uh, see me mount them, and uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, so I wasn't going to open the other one on camera, but uh, I decided, you know what? Let's do it. Screw it. So, let's do it. Uh, i got to find my knife. Don't do that. Okay. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, more crap. Piece of the stand. The second piece of the stand. If you were curious, Yeah, the cable management arm, which is nifty. And it just snaps right into place. Just like that. Yeah, that's nice. And then the bottom part of the stand. If you guys don't know how to assemble a stand, I'm going to show you. So all you got to do, guys, I know it's a little difficult. I know it's kind of hard. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, this is pretty difficult right here. But, uh, yeah, guys. All you do is just screw it right in. I know it's difficult for some of us, including me. Um, we can't figure out how to do a stand for a monitor. But, uh, yeah, here you guys go. Stand. And then we got the monitor itself right here. Yeah. Rip me up, plastic, baby. Here we go. And you just slide it in right here just like that top part first 
the bottom part snaps in and it's good to go just like that so here we go here we go guys man how pretty just nice man i love nice equipment um somebody on youtube was reviewing this monitor and was talking a lot of crap about the way these things smell i don't smell anything they said he was like his pregnant wife had to go in a different room because it stank so bad and he was opening it outside. I don't smell anything, so maybe it was just his. I don't know, but yeah. Let's go ahead and move over to the desk so we can get this stuff uh, set up. Love you guys. All right, guys, so we went ahead and removed the Dell U23, uh, U2723QEs. Uh, these are the 4K Ultra Sharps. Um, from a few years back, I uh, bought these, and these have been absolutely amazing. Um, these are still kind of expensive to this day. Um, I love the Ultra Sharps. My intention was actually to buy the upgraded version of this, which is the U3228 QE, I think, or U22 or U3225 or something like that, which is the Ultra Sharp 32. But man, they are way too expensive. I think they're like a thousand dollars a piece. Last time I checked, so definitely not doing that right now. Um, if I don't like the uh, these 32s, which are these are not ultra sharps, these are VA panels. The ultra, the ultra sharps are IPS panels. Uh, if I don't like these, I will upgrade them um, because, like I said, I do. Uh, <laughs> I will work from here. But yeah, I do really need some good monitors for the setup. And uh, if I don't like these, I'm just going to end up uh, returning them and uh, probably just going with the ultra sharp 32s and just uh, biting the bullet and spending the two thousand dollars on monitors. Which is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I don't really want to spend $2,000 on monitors, so. Anyway, I'm ranting and rambling. So, um, yeah, I am kind of curious to see if they'll fit on this stand. Um, I'm kind of wanting to mount them, but then again, I also need to unbox the mount that's over there um, to see what the difference is. So I'm going to unbox that mount and, uh, yeah. All right, guys, so here it is. Um, unfortunately, both of the monitor mounts were too small. Um, so I'm going to have to get a larger monitor mount. But yeah, guys, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. It did not set up the way I want it to just yet. But um, they're going to get there. They're going to get there. I'm going to buy the new monitor mount. And I can't even get both of them in the frame. Good gracious, they're so massive. But yeah, guys, I'm liking it so far. Um, of course, the colors are not going to be as good as an IPS panel. The blacks are not that black. Um, the you know the color accuracy definitely isn't there, but for a VA panel this is definitely passable, and I think this will be good for a lot of people. And what people should keep in mind that this is a budget monitor, so you get what you pay for. This is not going to give you an IPS experience, but this is good enough for me, I think. All right, guys. So I ended up trying again with the new mount, and it actually got it to work. So it was just operator error, of course. Um, had the wrong pole on there, and uh, one of the screws was too tight. Loosened it up, and now we're good to go. So I'm going to plug these guys back in and uh, see how it looks. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. Um, the alignment's definitely crooked, so I need to fix that. It's driving me crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy so far with the monitors, guys. It is definitely nice having the extra screen real estate. Um, everything's nice and clean, no wires. Pretty simple setup. Of course, you got a little bunch of wires down there. But yeah, guys, I'd say this is overall pretty much good success. Um... We still have some adjusting to do with the lab. We still have not built the R740, so the hold up on that is my CPUs are coming from China, and I think they're lost. So I have to resolve that, and then potentially buy new CPUs, and then we'll be good to go. So that will be the next video you guys see, I promise. We'll be building the R740 next, but until then guys, um, that's pretty much all the updates I had. Everything's working fine, nothing crazy. But yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate it, and talk to you later.